Gonzalez, uh, 27, I drive uh, 2014, wide body, Super Dub RX. I bought the car in November of 2013, right after I got my first job. I was looking into a car and it was torn between getting the Z, the new FRS that had just come out that year, or WRX. I decided to just go ahead and uh, bite the bullet on the older model because it had a whole large ass market selection of parts for it versus the V8B that would take some time for the auction markets to catch up to get new, uh, new exterior parts, new performance parts. Full Varus wide body kit from Varus uh, in Japan. It's all made in a small warehouse in Kanagawa Prefecture in Japan. I actually visited the, the warehouse last November, got to talk to the designer, the owner, got to see how everything was made. And I'd always wanted a car that looks like that. Look at the, the cars in Tokyo Drift, the first fast and furious when it came out. You wanted your car to look like that. So when I saw it, I was man, that, that kid is exactly what I want. So I decided to go with the full uh, carbon version of for my car, and then I ended up getting uh, the diffuser, side extensions, bar kind of a work in progress for five, six months because the car ended up getting sent to California. I drove to California to get the kit installed and then waiting on parts, waiting on those tires, waiting on the seats that had been made. And then as soon as I got the car back, uh, I had to go into a roll cage. So the big premiere event was Wreckfest uh, 2016. And yeah, I think people's response to it was that like they were, just, they were blown away to, that someone would go that all out on a car here. And it's the first full wide, wide body bars car in the south. And uh, no one had ever seen anything quite like it. People usually do, like they'll do a hood or maybe just the front buckle of the replacement, but it went all out. Every single bars car that you could pretty much get, other than some, some side extension pieces and, uh, and the wing, of course. But they liked it, and I think what I like the most is when people say that you know, you did you did the car right. I think when you when other enthusiasts come up to your car and they say, you know what, everything about this car is exactly how it should be. I think that's that's what we need to see more. But there are people definitely that aren't as familiar with uh, Japanese cars or just the import scene that don't really know what to say, so they'll kind of trash talk the car because they they see Subaru and they don't know the capabilities of Subaru. They don't know the uh, the track record for Subaru, the rally record for Subaru, they don't know anything about it. So to them, it's just some little tuner car. They never thought anything much of it. It's not a Corvette, it's not a Mustang. So they kind of just put it, by the, put it by the waist. Normally whenever I do this kind of stuff, it's about, you know, I'll start off about power and, you know, the previous model, what's coming. But in this car, I'm really, I'm really not compelled to talk about that. One word I would choose to describe it, it's charisma. So when I say charisma, I mean, there's so much, I feel, one, I feel very connected to the car, and that's not just because I have a four-point racing harness. I feel, I don't really feel like this car is about speed, despite the way that it looks. It looks very race car-y, but I really feel compelled in this car to just enjoy it. Whenever you were a kid, you got that new toy, that new toy everyone on the block, every kid on the block wanted but you got it first. That's what I feel like this car is. I feel like it is so cool. I feel like nobody else has it. It's so unique, it's so special. People are inclined to just kind of gaze over it, look at it. And of course you have some haters you know, that are mad because either one, they don't understand it, or two, they don't have it. The car is much more than you know just kind of some a body kit slapped on. It's something special. It expresses the owner of how he feels about his car and what he really wanted to do with it. Most guys, you know, they think, oh, okay, I wanna make my I'm gonna make my car fast, or they try to make their car, they try to customize it, but they end up going to AutoZone, or, you know, they end up trying to make it look cool without really putting their mind to it and saying, yeah, this is what I want my car to be. This is how I wanna not only express the car, but how I wanna express myself. Every, I think everyone starts out with wanting to do, wanting to make the car difference in that it's unique and it stands out from the crowd. And then I think as you develop, 
well up, you start to want to make it a reflection of who you are and the type of style that you like. And that's very big, especially for the guys in Japan, like it has to be a reflection of the style that they like, who they are, personality, whether it's exaggerated or it's super low or just loud and catches everybody's attention. But I want it to be like an authentic car that people would respect and say, you know what, that, that dude did everything right on that car. Everything is, every detail has been taken care of to the maximum extent. So that's why I wanted to go with uh, everything authentic on that car, no rep parts. They went through a lot of phases from just simple uh, like mud flaps, FRP lid, just the basic stuff. And then I started to go into uh, bigger wheels and tires, got air suspension, so then it was like the, the low phase. And then it went on to like a fully capable track line. So if I had known from the get-go what I wanted to do, I would have saved up the money as opposed to losing money here and there on parts that I had to end up selling because it wouldn't work with the rest of the car. But you don't really know that whenever you start out. I don't think that you kind of go into something knowing full well how far you're going to take it unless you really have a clear plan right from when you start. What I know a lot of guys do is they'll go to one shop and say, oh, okay, we'll make it cool. For a car to be truly special, you gotta to take your time and you gotta kind of just bond with it. You gotta let it change, not just from one time, but you also, I mean, it's just, it's like you are in life. If you look back and you say, you know, I, I always do this to myself. Look back, if you look back from a year ago, did you ever think you'd be where you are today? And the answer, at least for me, has always been no. And I feel like, I mean, the owner did that right with this car because he didn't do this whole kit. He didn't do this whole car in one night or one week or one month. It's been a big work in progress. And I think that's really allowed him to really get the car right. It's really allowed him to grow and express himself accurately. And that's why I think it's really special. It's a little bit weird to say that you're like proud of your your own accomplishments, but I'm, I I think I take pride in the fact that you know I, I waited the time that it took to get the, the parts. I didn't go with anything that wasn't authentic, and just the fact that I you know I got to talk to the people that designed the kit, kind of have an idea as to what what they would like the the kit to represent. It's fully capable of going on the track, adjustable suspension wide body, big tires, decent rubber too, Michelin Pilot Super Sport, so it's got the capability of doing everything that it's, it's meant to do. So I'm, I'm proud of what the car's become for sure. You're happy with it. Yeah, there's no part on there that, that I would change. And it'll constantly keep evolving um, from this summer forward. I'll do more so that uh, it goes more towards the performance side and not just this, you know, this really nice thing to look at. And I guess we want to talk about the performance a little bit. It's a stage two car, and it's, I mean, it, you know, I don't think it probably has more than 300 to the wheel, but I could really care less. I actually could really care less. It's not, that's not what this car is about. He was telling me he's gonna you know, build the motor out in the summer, but even if he did or didn't, I would take this over any other built car any day. Just, it's not just because, I mean, you get speed's cool, but to be able to fully and accurately express yourself from something that you made and, and you know something that you love, that's special. That's what's special to me. The car was never meant to be anything like this. I just bought it because I thought it looked cool on an even daily driver, and that's what it ended up being when I first uh, when I first took it around. But now it's something much more. I think that's what it truly means to be a car guy, to be a car enthusiast. I mean, I know we like speed, I know we like, you know, all these different sorts of things, but if you can really find a car that, one, that you connect with, but two, that expresses yourself, 